Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to Lathtopia. In today's video, we are going to be trying to design a ship which simply revolves around the regular cannons. Now, originally, I was going to be using the Imperial Cannon today, but I realised something. I've used the Imperial Cannon... But I've never really gave the regular cannon a chance. Sure, we did build the Locust in the previous season, but honestly, the Locust was used very sparsely and then replaced almost instantly by the Wrath and then the Piranha. So, with our bonus accuracy to cannons, can they be good enough? Honestly, I'm not a massive fan of the regular cannon, so I'm hoping to either prove myself right or prove myself wrong today. If I prove myself wrong, then honestly I think that is the best outcome. So my idea is, lots of cannons. Just lots of them. So we have a row of cannons, they all fire at a decent accuracy. We use the crow's nest, probably not the telescope because of cost. Maybe we will once we've unlocked it, not too sure right now. But either way, a row of cannons then everything else behind them, so a lot of protected areas. Essentially, I've got a sort of shape in mind. So, crow's nest here, something here for decoration, we go down a bit further, perhaps inwards, and then we go back like this. So it's almost like a fang. I've definitely seen this design around before. I think one of the AI empires can have something similar to this, but I don't know if it simply spams cannons or not. But that's our idea anyway. The problem with this, is it's going to be very heavy, and currently we only have access to the suspendium chambers and the regular balloons. And I don't think either of those will really cut this. I think the pressurized chambers and the large chambers might be good. Sorry, the pressurized tanks and the large chambers. Or we could go with multiple of these. The idea with that is we could go with something similar to the... This one here, the Belial. As you can see, it has four of the chambers, but it does have a nasty maintenance and a very, very nasty cost. But I'm kind of thinking something like this, just not using the keel. We could also use the heavier armor, which we currently have unlocked. Hmm. I'm not too sure how this is going to go. I feel like this design could either be really good or just underwhelming. But either way, I think it'll be a good bit of testing, and honestly, I think it's going to be a lot of fun just to spam cannons, especially since we have the bonus accuracy from our crest. A. I think this is over the top. B. Oh my god, why are all the explosives next to everything else explosive? And C. Ignoring A and B, this will be so much fun. I feel like this is one of those craft where, if we go down... We're at least going to blow the face off of pretty much everything else in front of us before we explode. Then we explode. In glorious fire. So here's the thing. We're currently just using regular steel walls. This means, you know, rockets and cannons are going to kill us, but rifles will probably not do too much damage. We could, however, go over to steel armor, but, well, keep an eye on the service ceiling. We're basically on the ground. But now, we are far, far more difficult to kill. Small arms fire and even cannons will have a tough time, and that increased blast damage resistance. Well, that means rockets aren't going to be quite as scary. Still scary, but not quite as scary. But once again, service ceiling 56. That's not good enough. So perhaps have a blend of the two, or even more lift, but I don't think that's the way to go right now. So, I don't know. I mean, we could, we could add some balloons. We really could. Tiny little balloons, perhaps here or here or something, but I don't really want to for once. We could go with lighter propellers and stuff. I mean, the speed of this thing really shouldn't be that important. It's going to be killed by bombers anyway. Well, maybe less so if we swap out the armor, but we're so explosive. I need the armor. I need the resistance. I feel like if we go with this route, we're essentially a siege vehicle again. But we are going to be killed by anything with decent speed or bombs or ramming capabilities because we're not going to be, be able to get out of the way. We will be stuck. We also won't be able to get 
above and beyond enemy buildings, so if the sun's in our eyes, we're just going to have to stick with that. But there's so much firepower. Now, admittedly, the cannons aren't the strongest thing in the world, but look how many we have! And a single little rifle. How about something like that? I know it looks silly, but... No, I have nothing else to say. I know it looks silly. But it is... Effective. Okay, that just looks really weird. No, uh, ignore that. That's... No, ca there we go. I'm still using the backup keyboard at the moment, and I'm still getting used to it, and it's driving me mad. It's also way too loud. It keeps on picking up on the microphone. Getting a new keyboard, hopefully, by the end of the weekend. I have ordered it, it's just for some reason light, which is really annoying. Now, we could use some shapes on this and make it look a bit better, but that will increase the weight significantly, and I do not particularly want to do that. We could just go like, look, there's pipes. I mean, it's something. Is it just something to look at? Okay, let's go on paint. Whoa. You know, I have this feeling that this is either going to be really good or utterly, utterly abysmal. I don't think it's going to go down the, the, the middle. It's either going to be incredibly fantastic, or it's going to show me that this type of thing shouldn't exist. Oh my god, Lathrix, why have you done this? And I'm okay with that. That's kind of what we're going for. Hmm. How about like this, with the angle like... No, I don't like that either. Okay, one second while I paint this thing. So here's the thing. The Overwhelmer actually works as a name because we're going with just overwhelming weapons above all else. The cost is far too much and the maintenance is way too high. It's just silly. It really is a silly design, not really an efficient one, but I think it's going to be a load of fun. I've also made it look a little bit morbid. We have skulls, we have little black flags, we have an evil crest, which is of course our own crest. Glory to us, um, Lathrixia. I don't know what else to call it. Something to do with funerals, something to do with death, something Latin maybe, but for now, just the Overwhelmer. So, we'll save the design, and we'll save up, we'll make it, and then off to war we go. In the future, it will probably be upgraded and probably, honestly, lessened. Less weapons, then add a telescope and add the compressed tanks. Then maybe we'll get a better service ceiling, a better speed, need less crew. But for now, we're just going with overwhelming silliness. Ah, yeah, currently our secret police is still on minimum. Maybe that isn't the best call in the world. Okay, you're going to fight that, that's fine. Go away, good. This should be an instant victory. Glorious. Welcome back, it's not really worth the money for the enemy there, I've got to be honest. Uh, you're going to attack us, that's fine. This is our bomber, that can go and defend. I'm going to send a spy here, and soon start destroying stuff. In that case, we can do that later. Yeah, that was a waste of money, don't know why I just did that. But still, we're okay for now. Hello. You're... really interesting. That looks cool, I like that. However, we have bombs. Oh, you're a boarding craft! Oh, look at all those dead people! <laughs> I mean, no! Human life has been wasted this day! Oh! <laughs> they go squish! Sorry, guys. Bombers, yo. Just bombers. You know what? Let's take, uh, that. Wow! Seriously? They're... Okay, let's have a good look-see. There's nothing left here. Their airport, their shipyard just revolted. In that case, I'll take it over. Instant victory. Um, gentle takeover, I suppose. That was good for us, I suppose. I suppose. Suppose. Supposing. Okay, you've been damaged, haven't you? Yeah, you've lost one of your propellers. Not much, but still. Go and repair. You stop over there. Keep an eye out for him. Uh, maybe go attack him. Yeah, let's attack there. If we can take out their ship, that'll be great. Nullify some of the threats from the south. Oh, another new design. Oh, I love that. Why have I never built a sail in the middle? Is that a rocket or a telescope? It's like a flying... Um 
well, ship, but a bit of a submarine vibe going on there. Bombs. Don't know where that one bomb was going then, but still. Uh, maybe take out the buildings. Yeah, take out the building first. Doopy 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 doo. Nighttime accuracy, yeah. Why aren't you moving? There we go. Oh, 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 go um, Medusa, up. I'm guessing I've lost some people because, yeah, I can't do much right now. There we go. Yeah, still, the, the one problem with the Medusa, this is the auto design, is the lack of commands. For a bomber, that's so important. And I think, yeah, I've lost so many people now, they're having a bit of a, a delay for the orders I'm even giving. Let's make sure their ship's dead, at the very least. Let's ensure that they've lost their fleet. Navy. Potatoes. Whee! Okay, aim fire now. Whee! Yeah, I know he's in rapid fire the whole time, but still... Oh, come on. No, no. Yep, good, good, bad, 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 good. I can't control this. So we just lost the Medusa. Um, that happened. Yeah, uh, Zealot, can you uh, move over here, please? That'd be good. Now building the Overwhelmer, and looking back at that footage, if I had swapped to Aimed Fire earlier, we could have won that, but I was just thinking because it was so close, we could keep with Rapid, and I should have taken into account it was night time. Just a pure mistake on my part there. Hmm. So far, it doesn't, look, doesn't really look like any one group is really dominating. I think the fact that everyone has multiple designs now, it means even those who have a weak starter design certainly puts them in a bad starting position. But they're rapidly evolving out of it, which is really so much better than the last playthrough. I'm also kind of glad now we've lost the bomber, because now it means we have to have our own designs. This should be an auto victory, right? Oh, come on. It's trying to fight back. Look at it. That You're not going to win. There's bravery. Then there's stupidity. There's a thin line. Lightning. There's a thin line between them. That lightning actually made me jump a little bit. That's, um... That's a thing which happened. So that's these guys. So these guys are kind of threatening with those ships, but they're under attack from the east and the north. So, sorry, the south, going north. So I can leave that alone. Let's just focus on this group, who owns yeah a lot of area as well. Okay, they've built a thing. <laughs> Say goodbye to your tank. I just burnt it. Look, uh, look a tank. Bang. Oh, look, it's gone. Bang! And the tank is gone. That's annoying. Okay, so even though the sun's coming from the left, get straight over it, go straight down, sit here. You're going to take some damage on the way, and there's nothing we can really do about that. Run! Don't let that cannon hit us, please. Down, 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 down. Rapid fire. Uh, closer. Okay, where's... Grounding. How do you ground this thing? Ground ship. Okay. It's G. Who would have thought? That might still be able to shoot us, but hoping not. There we go. It's gone anyway. Grape shot cannons. For when you want to hit your enemy, your enemy's family, your enemy's building, and a small dog over here. You know, talking about destroying buildings and people and family didn't sound very dark. Shooting a dog, on the other hand. Suddenly that went a million times darker, and even I just went, too far, Lathrix. Way too far. Lathrix does not ever attack animals with these ships. Lathrix loves animals. Lathrix has over 20 pets currently. We are about to be invaded, so can you... Oh, you're not repaired yet. Just go anyway. Yeah, it's only one of these. You should be able to win against that. Okay, that's going to be an auto loss, so just flee. Good, we have telescopes. Next, then, I would like you to get the pressurized chambers. You're moving there? Okay. This can build a new zealot. Is everywhere building currently? That's currently been taken over. Okay. I wonder what's in there. 
Yep, one Zealot will definitely not win against that. Uh, Zealot, can you just take over that then? Give us more money. Money is good, or so I've been told. By the sages of old. Okay, once again, same as before. Get to the other side, then ground over there. I mean, did a little bit of damage, I guess. And then rapid fire. Yep, definitely underneath their area of fire. The area of fire? Their, um... I can't think of the word right now. It can't shoot us. Ow. Thank you. You need to be prepared, don't you? You know. Interesting. In that case, just continue to invade everything nearby. Now, we should win this, but we still want to stay far away. They have a flamethrower and a gatling gun, both of which have a maximum range. We don't have maximum ranges of our gun. So, although it's terrible at long range, we can fire. They can't. Also, our bonus accuracy right now. We're using the grape shot cannon at medium range with no true negatives. I don't know why it's not moving. Because it can't get past here. I don't fully understand what's going on. Did I knock out his bridge? I mean, I killed a lot of its crew. Come see where its bridge is. Yeah, there's the bridge. Oh, it just has a cockpit. Oh, I see. So maybe it just can't give commands very quickly. It's also on fire. God, it's fast. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was unfort. That's the floating brick. Hello, floating brick. Well, Glory Thrastopia. You go there. You could invade, but you're probably trying to defend, right? Right? No. Interest. Ah, one of these again. Uh, okay, it's weaker on the right, so. The usual gubbins. Aimed fire whilst you're on the way. And then rapid while you're close. And just ground yourself. There's no reason to, flo to float in place. See, that would have made us take damage. Please kill this cannon. This cannon. This cannon. Thank you. This cannon. This cannon. This cannon. And we lost the zealot. Gosh darn it. So right now we just have one zealot. That's all we have. Okay, you're not going to attack. You're staying on defense. We are actually in a bad position right now in terms of defending ourselves. Although, thankfully, we have taken out the fleets of those around us. So, now we start building zealots again. So, we have three shipyards all building things. God, the Overwhelmer takes a long time to build. Under attack, there's nothing we could have done about it in terms of defending. So, yeah, we're just going to lose that. A single zealot will not win again. In fact, a couple of zealots won't. They have... Gatling guns? I th either way, they would definitely kill the Zealots. Okay, there's a new Zealot, so invade that whilst their ground forces are so low down. In fact, do a double invade. Let's get some revenge, and you can start building another Zealot. It's why I kind of love the Zealots so much. They're so cheap. I don't really mind losing one. They're 600 odd. Similar to the Piranhas. Even if you do lose a fight, you don't feel like you've really lost because of how cheap it is. The Overwhelm is going to be different, that's why it, it's going to need to be really good to be worth it. These things can win maybe half of their fights and be okay, and they definitely win more than that. I wish you could command the craft to target a specific part of the enemy. I don't know if that would make certain builds overpowered though, so I don't know if that's good in a balanced sense, but it would be good... In just me having fun sense. <laughs> fun sense. I don't know why that sounds so funny to me. Okay, I now want the extra ammo storage. Because I feel like these cannons... Because cannons are quite ammo hungry. And I feel like the Overwhelmer, despite having three ammo storages, is going to just burn through ammo. Okay, there's rockets only on the front. So the usual gubbins. You go there. Just please don't be hit by a rocket on the way. God, rocket. rockets really do need a bit of an accuracy boost to be useful. So they always need a crow's nest or something.
There we go. Lovely. Got a bit lucky there, honestly, with the enemy not hitting, like, anything. Yeah, you're the one without the bottom propeller. Still going to send you forward, though. Continued aggression seems to be the best way to win this game. It really does. Now, I think I already checked this earlier, but I forgot. Um, two versus... Nope, still don't like my odds there. Yeah, still don't like my odds. I think we should split you up. And just invade everything nearby. Just continually take as much as possible. The best defense, good offense, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now doing this is going to make you less accurate, but being able to avoid their shots is definitely worth it. Lovely. Aimed fire because you're looking into the sun. Did I mention that grape shot cannons are just ridiculous? Because they really are. They're just... They just chew through everything. Now, what type of monsters do we have currently in our territory? I've not really checked. I uh, can't really see anything either. We just... No, there is the Sky Kraken. There is the Sky Kraken. We're definitely not ready to fight that yet. As soon as the Overwhelm is done, I'm going to send it over here. Okay, who's attacking where? Because that's... Pause. Hmm. Could use both of you together and try and take that. Or we could just instead do this. Yeah. Invade where they were. It'd be easier than attacking them with the ships as well. With their um, planes as well. Their pl tanks. Tanks, Lathrix. It's a tank. Come on. They're usual. They're usual. doop a doop a doo I really do think a really good defense building would be single rocket crow's nest. But rocket on their own with a flying at front? I've got to say, these are some of the worst defenses I've seen in a while. Having no trouble killing them, even with stuff like this. Okay, now, build ship. I want a second overwhelmer so we can do some testy tests. Yeah, it should win this. But it will be close, like before. Aimed fire, see if we can get some hits on the way. Sometimes I think hold fire might be better, but we would never seem to run out of ammo, so... Imagine building the Overwhelmer, but only with grape shot cannons. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. The overwhelm is almost finished. Ooh, you have rockets on the back as well, but you have way more rockets on the front. But I am going... Oh, but right now, they can't aim properly. Okay, silly tactic. We're going to try and long range using the grape shot cannon. Because they have reduced accuracy, and they're using rockets. They do have a crow's nest this time, though. I'm thinking you still get a little bit closer, but... Yes, like medium range. And just keep on moving every time you can. That way the rockets which have already been fired will miss. I'm being annoying. Yeah, doing fine for Cole. Oh, that front building is almost down. I like the fact it looks like it's two buildings as well. That's neat. The only thing really hitting us is their rifle. And that is actually doing some damage. Because we're not doing much damage per second at all. Just stay of aimed fire still. Uh, actually, I think we're just close enough to rapid fire now. Just slowly moved forwards as they got damaged. There we are. Just going to white now, I think. Oh, no, we're... Oh, no. Those look really efficient. 
So I'm assuming these are using the um, the pressurized thingy mabobs as well. The zealot will just lose. Oh yeah, nothing we have is good versus that. That's a problem, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hopefully he won't go for us. Uh, go over here and try to defend the whole area. Even though I think I'll lose, I'll still use a zealot. Ooh, that's a nice looking tank. Definitely would lead to our defeat if we try to defend. Okay, hopefully the overwhelm will be done soon so we can use that. Uh, this should be quite an easy victory like always. We just do this. The overwhelmer is finally finished. Like, why into this recording? Okay, you're going to attack that. I'm going to let you. There's no chance one zealot can take the bomber, so I'm going to let you both combine. Then maybe I'll fight you. I don't know. I need something to deal with bombers soon, is what I'm essentially saying. Yeah, there's nothing here to actually defend, so go ahead. You're sending out an attack against that. That's really annoying. We have no zealots left to defend, so let's make a new one. So I think a general purpose defender is what we need to build next. Do we have anything? I wish it started zoomed out. The fact it starts zoomed in and takes so long to zoom out is a little bit annoying. Just a very minor thing. God, we're under attack from everywhere now. Flee. There's nothing there. Three zealots versus two of those bombers. I don't like my odds still. The versus two of those tanks, maybe. Lovely. So, what's the best way of doing this? Um, we could try and get past, but that'll be way too much damage. Remember, we have bonus accuracy in our cannons, and we do have the crow's nest. I'm thinking just let's see how good that accuracy is without the telescope. Remember, we can always upgrade this with a telescope later. Lots of shots incoming. Quite a few hits. Quite a few hits. The question is, should we move closer to increase our damage? Well, we're doing actually quite a lot. Yeah, we're hitting almost every shot. There's maybe one in four, a quarter of the shots missing? Oh, there's an explosion. Probably our balloon. Yeah, there's our balloon. Okay, yeah, let's get closer. Let's get really close and silly. Remember, we do have heavy armor. And then go to rapid fire. Oh my god, that's horrific. <laughs> oh yeah, that is lovely. Okay. That was awesome. Actually managing to run out of ammo despite that. I told you, these cannons are so ammo hungry. So tempted to replace all of these with grape shot cannons. Just imagine that. You need to be repaired. Well, you kind of need to be repaired. Your weapons are still aligned. The bottom weapon is no longer connected. Um, just continue forwards. Actually, we could try and fight off their tanks. Yeah, you might be... Okay, you're damaged, but I'm going to send you versus their tanks. Uh, you need to start building stuff, so build more zealots, because again, the zealots are a good just throwaway unit. There's three of you there. We could try versus the bomber, or we could move into their territory. There's a bit of revenge. Okay, they're going to try and defend. Well, at least we got them to go away. Damn, I was hoping I'd actually fool them, but apparently not. You're building. Yeah, okay, you got rockets, so now I want bonus ammo storage. Tempted to remove its flammability, but I would much rather just have more ammo. You're invading. Where are you, where are you invading? You're invading there. Okay, in that case, defend. Whoa, that's annoying. Being attacked a lot from the west. Oh, the bomber's now attacking us. Okay, they turned around and attacked us instead. Well. Nope, I just don't want to fight that. That's just so bad for us. Uh, we could stay this close and just try to see if Rapid Fire will win at this range. You know what? Sure. Ow. Oh, that's Gatling guns. I thought I had regular cannons. If I knew that, I would have definitely moved back. Aim fire. Okay, 
Who are we firing at? Oh, we're firing at that one. Uh, well, there goes his rocket, so now I'll target him, please. You know what? This seems good. And although you're damaged, go and take over that as well. Thank you very much. What's this? That's just a zealot. Uh, go and take that. Oh, come on. Okay, we've got to fight these bombers. So this is going to take over everything if we don't attack them. But right now we have nothing which is good versus bombers. But we have a lot of stuff. Hello! Okay, we need to get past them straight away. So it's weird, but starting off next to them is probably our best bet. There we are. Now the sun is on our side, not on the enemies. Let's go down. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> oh, that is lovely. Victory! Yes, it is. Yes, it is, lads. Well done. I love this thing. Okay. Yep, definitely very, very happy with the design right now. Okay, here comes a loss. Hi there, bombers! How are you today? Doing well? Good! Good. Why can you move- Oh, she's taken damage, haven't you? I don't know what to do here, just... Go on rapid so when they get close you can shoot them. All of you, all of you move back, just... Okay, you... Move there so you're close. You do a flippy flip. See if we can take out one of them. You need to move forward and get their attention. Ow, my spleen. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Goodbye. Good night. Toodles. Nothing can defeat the zealots. You know what? Go above him. Stop him from being able to go down. I should just make the overwhelm with grape shot cannons. This is insane. They, you, you think bombers are overpowered and my speech is underpowered? Well! You haven't seen grape shot cannons yet. Now, get repaired though, you did take a lot of damage. Overwhelmer? No, it's a zealot. Overwhelmer? You over? Are you, yes, you are. I was making a second one, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Good. This land is my land. This land is also my land. Hey, you. Bye. We could send the Overwhelmer there to take over the shipyard and finish off. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's do that instead. Then we stay there until we can repair the balloon. New Overwhelmer, you can invade there. Oh, zealots. I feel a bit cheesy using them. There's a lot of overpowered weapons in this game, but not. I think it's more how the AI works. There's a lot of weapons which the AI can't deal with, I think is a better way of saying it. Now here's a question. Do I want to stay at long range or get in close range and um, rapid fire again? Please detonate that rocket. Oh, it's going up. There it goes. First one down. I want to see how well we can survive. Remember, we are in the slightly heavier armor, I believe. Did I end up going with the heavier armor? Yes, I did. Good. Heavier armor with a little bit of the lighter armor along just like the corridors and such. Hello, rockets. We're basic cannons. And we're lots of them. Wait, wait. Wasn't I going to repair you? I was, and I forgot. Always build something. There's no point in not building. Just constantly build craft. Honestly, defense is overrated. I think just sheer offense in this game is probably the best way to go. Okay, we do want to stay this way, because although they have more cannons, they're also firing into the sun. Oh, look at that for the first volley. Just a few small fires set. Heavy armor broken. For the Empire. For the Legion. 
I'm having a lot of fun right now. I just looked at the time. I should really call this episode. But I'm having fun. Oh, that was easy. Uh, what's over here? Well, for a start. Boop. Damaged Overwhelmer. Go there. Overwhelm their defenses. <laughs> you. Oh, I've already won. Just keep on doing what you're doing. You're doing fine. You aren't building. Uh, but honestly, I think I have enough right now. I think I might save up for just more Overwhelmers. Again, though, Bombers are definitely going to be a problem for us. Ta-da. Damn. Okay, this time they have the advantage. We might lose this one. Stay in aimed fire, even if you get close. Oh, that's going to hit. Yes, it is. Why are you firing at the one on the back? There we go. Wow, rockets are not particularly fantastic versus heavy armor, are they? Well, it's not even heavy armor, it's medium armor. I know I keep, I keep on calling it heavy armor because it's heavier than what we are normally using. Lovely. Uh, zealots, go take that. You take that. But first we have this. Um, they have less on the back. But I think we're probably good enough to just move in and destroy. Lightning, really? My balloon! My beautiful balloon! Uh, you should auto win this. Just, there we go. Lovely. Now, take over that city again. It was just taken from us. Uh, you invade there. Okay, we have three zealots versus nothing. Good. Good. Extra ammo storage, fantastic. So what do I want next? This. Minus 20% cannon reload speed. This will be the last fight, I promise. Okay, the sun's on our side, so just stay back. And they surrender as soon as they see us. Which I think is cowardly, so I'm going to pillage them. Okay, so with that, thank you so much for watching. The new design is definitely, definitely, definitely good. It's just crushing things. It could be made more efficient, but I absolutely love how it looks, and I love how it acts. I love the zealot, and I love how much territory we now have. And now... I'm in a good mood. So if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Airships Conquer the Skies is a series you wish to see continued in the future. We definitely need to use the Imperial Cannon soon, because if we can make regular cannons as good as this using our Crest's bonus, the Imperial Cannon is going to be devastating. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Soon! If it goes this well, we're probably going to do Imperial difficulty, because right now we are dominating again.